so you talk about dominion. Yes. What is that? So how do I describe dominion? I'm actually writing a book about it, but dominion is the energy. Uh, it, no. Dominion is the state of being, your actual vibration, when you are occupying your I am. When you're in your incarnation, in your life, you're crystal and Compton, but you're vibrating in your I am. You're vibrating in your divinity. Now, when I first started out working with spirit, working with people, I was actually a, a psychic reader. I was an intuitive coach and things of that nature. And then I moved on into classes. And what people really wanted to learn about were things like psychic abilities and, and how to be clairvoyant, how to open their third eye and things of that nature. And what I would always find is that people would be super interested in opening these abilities, but then get very afraid of what they began to perceive or very afraid of what was potentially possible to perceive. And so the way I taught dominion to them was imagine for a moment, you walk into your house and you have maybe a four or five year old child in the living room and your child doesn't know that you've walked into the house yet. But as you walk into the house, you hear that someone is in the room with your four-year-old child. You stop and you listen and you wonder, who's talking to my, my child? And, and as you listen, you can hear that there's somebody there that's saying the most awful, terrible things to your child and you don't recognize this voice. Now, in that moment, what would you do? Would you be afraid? Would you go running out of your house? Oh my God, what's going on? Would you be panicked? Or would you, like me, be emboldened? And would you walk into that room and say, uh, that's my child and this is my space and who are you in my space, my creation? And I would escort that person out. I wouldn't be afraid at all. In fact, quite the opposite. That's what dominion, I, that's what I use to describe what dominion feels like, it's sovereignty. This is my body. This is my life. This is my space. I'm creating this life. You can't just roll in and tell me what I have to do or tell me how it's going to go because I determined that for myself. Now, dominion is that, but without sort of an angry reaction, but it's the power stance. It's the power position of your life because truly people don't understand how powerful they are. And people don't realize that they are always always creating, whether they're creating good stuff or whether they're creating bad stuff, they are always creating. And until they realize that they can intentionally and consciously create what they want, they're going to keep finding themselves in this default position of life, life that's happening to me. I can't, well, how come I'm meeting the same kind of person over and over and over again? How come every time I get ahead, something happens and the rug gets pulled out from underneath me, life just happens to me. Well, you're not living in the power position of your life. You're not living in the understanding of who it is that you truly are. And when you're in your dominion, when you're in your I am, when you're in your magician, that's when things begin to change for the better. That was a very visceral explanation. I could feel it. Right, you, you could. could. really feel it. So hopefully our audience did too, because that, that that was great yeah <laughs> that was and that's who we are that's who we are and see we we all want to be psychic we all want to like we all want to live in a magical world but we have to realize we're living in a very spiritually diverse ecosystem and we only see less than one percent of, of all that is possible to see and when our inner eye begins to open well we might see some very odd things we might feel at levels that are unfamiliar to us but we must never forget that we have the right to be fearless because the consciousness having the experience is the consciousness that runs the experience and if you're having that experience then you're sovereign in it and we can't forget that